these videos are only for learning purposes. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to talk about MQ sensors. MQ sensor stands for Metal Oxide Semiconductor, which is a gas sensor. Uh, we are going to talk about these tiny little sensors and those sensors are there for Arduinos, um, for ESP and um, other kind of different um, microcontrollers. But before we are going further, a huge disclaimer. This is only a learning purpose video. You should never ever use such a kind of sensors in production because gas, they are gas sensors, so you can see the gas. You can, cannot, you cannot sense the gas and it is very dangerous. So it is only, only for learning purposes. So what kind of uh, sensors do we have? Um, so we have MQ2, which is this sensor. Yes, this is, that is MQ2. MQ2 is an LPG, it's a propane methane uh, sensor. This is my favorite one, which is MQ3, which is alcohol, uh, ethanol sensor. And there is like a methane sensor, MQ4. And we will talk about MQ5, MQ6, MQ7. MQ7 it's a, a bit more used, which is uh, again, it's very dangerous. Uh, to, to use it in production, but it's for learning purposes totally fine to use it with an Arduino Mega or with an ESP32 or with any kind of ESP. This is a carbon monoxide, carbon monoxide sensor. And um, there is like MQ8, if I will find it, just give me a second. Yeah, here is the MQ8 which is an hydrogen sensor and they are MQ9 uh, which is uh, CO and methane the, one of the most uh, used uh, combined uh, sensor is the MQ135 which is detecting uh, CO2 uh, which is detecting smoke, alcohol and NOx um, so there are a lot of uh, gases which is uh, detecting Mo mostly this is used for air pollution monitoring and environmental and safety so all those sensors what we what we are gonna see and talk about here is only for learning purposes to, to know about it how those are communicating if you are gonna want to learn more the next following mini series it's for you in each of the videos i will talk about the programming or i will use an arduino or i will use an esp to program those and i will share the code with you and the measurements what they are reflecting and giving back and talk about a bit of the use cases where those sensors are used and uh, what for what could you use it we will see in the upcoming next videos with that being said hit the like button just to be informed if you like it and hit the subscribe to be notified hit the notification bell see you in the next video thank you very much i wish you a great day these videos are only for learning purposes the gas is not visible some of the gases are not smellable, so you cannot smell them. And using sensors like this, which is a hobby sensor, it's okay for learning to test and training purposes. But you should be aware, this is very dangerous and these sensors are might not accurate. We are talking about a few dollar sensor and do not put your life anytime in danger. It's good to learn and study and test those sensors, but do not ever use in very dangerous situations. Thank you.